first thing we're gonna do, take our Phillips head and we're gonna undo the six DIN connectors on here. I already happened to loosen them, so all I'm gonna do is pull them off, boom. And it's just that easy. So there we go, electrical's already done. Um, now we're gonna go to the top of the valve stack here. There's four Allens on top that need to be loosened and they have to be torqued when you put it back together, which we will show you the torquing process on that, but let's take it apart. So we're gonna grab our Allen, loosen these up. I always like to loosen them with a ratchet first and then you can put an impact on there. So those are loose. Now, what this is allowing us to do is take this valve stack apart individually and we can get in there if we had to and re replace one of the o-rings if an o-ring you know failed or you know we had a leak in the side caused from the o-ring we just take these four off take the dins off pull the valve stack right off get in there and be able to change it this seal here is split so we got to take it apart sometimes and put a new seal in it just make sure your seals on there take a little bit of grease and lubricate that seal and then you got to pay attention there's also another o-ring right on top in this little hole groove make sure that is there and then you're going to take this just like that and it pops right in now we are gonna take our two bolts, our blue Loctite. Make sure you use your blue Loctite. Put a little bit on the threads. Drop our bolts down into the two holes. We might have to wiggle it a little bit. We also torque these. We torque them to 20 foot pounds. First thing we're gonna do is just get these snug down. And then we'll come behind it with our torque wrench and torque them down and have it set at 20 foot pounds. Now that we got those back on here, we're just going to take a rag, wipe any dirt or grime we got on this uh, O-ring here. And then we're just gonna inspect this O-ring, rub your finger around it, make sure there's no nicks or uh, make sure it's not stretched out, nothing like that. And then we can take the motor, make sure your filter's pointing down. And we're gonna sneak this right in there. Ready to go back on. There's four little bolts. Take your Loctite, blue Loctite, and put a little bit on the threads. It is a eight millimeter wrench that you're gonna need to tighten these. There's two on the top and two on the bottom. All right, now that we all got them started, you grab your eight millimeter wrench and just start tightening these up. I always do it in a diagonal pattern, just like a tire. Make sure they're all nice and tight. I forgot to put the dry shaft back in. Putting our uh, motor back onto our pump here, and this is the dry shaft, I call it. This feeds the pump coming off the motor and it goes on a certain way. There's a groove, we always grease it up real well. You might have to play with it to get on. That one just dropped right on there. Now you take your motor, you get the dry shaft lined up first. Boom, just like that. And now we put the screws into the motor. It's a 10 millimeter wrench or socket. Get the top one started, following with the bottom one. Just like that. Take your socket or wrench and get that nice and tight. And that's it. Motor's back on, seals are good, 
two O-rings in there you gotta uh, pay attention for. We already took it all apart. We got all the pieces and now we are going to put it back together. Start our valve stack. Our valve stack is right here. We got one, two, three, four sections to it and this would be the first section that you're gonna put on. So we need O-rings in the top of these right here. So there's one of them right there and it just drops in nice just like that. Grab our other one here. So make sure there's a little bit of lubrication on them when you're, when you're putting them in. Makes them seal a little better. So there's our first row. And then this piece is gonna sit right on top just like that. We'll take a look at these O-rings just to make sure they are all set. All right, now that we fully inspected all our valve stack, if, if you look at it on them here, uh, we checked all our O-rings in between the valve stack and they look good. So now we are gonna put it back together. First thing you're gonna do is take your blue Loctite and this is your bottom block right here. And we're just gonna put a little bit on the threads. Just like that. Come on over here and we're gonna take this and we're just gonna screw this on and then just leave that one there. We can sort of somewhat line them up here and we're actually gonna just take them and put them all together. Leave your studs in there. Make sure everything's clean. And we're gonna start just feeding them on. Two. Okay, this could be the tricky part. Take your valve stack, get it on the holes there, and now you might have to do a little finagling to line the holes up here. Okay, got a couple of them started. And these, you do not want to take your impact and jam them down. Just get them kind of snug. And now we're gonna take our torque wrench again. Turn that bad boy on. And we're gonna turn this down to 14 foot pounds. Right there. Start in the middle. And just start tightening this up. 14. Slide over to your second one in the middle. Start tightening that up. Now we jump out to the outside ones. Fourteen, last one. All right, now we are done with our torque wrench. Turn that off. And now, take our blue Loctite again. Get it out a little bit more on those threads. Just like that. This is our pressure gauge. This allows you to know the pressure of your pump and or set the pressure of your pump. Put a little bit of blue Loctite on that right there. And now we're gonna thread this on the bottom just like that. And then take our other line here and put it onto the T. Now we're gonna take our 1116 stubby wrench and just tighten everything up. That's nice and tight. Now we're just gonna work on getting this one tight. You can also move the gauge out of the way here, just like that, and come in and get a little better grip on this one. Boom, just like that. And then we're gonna come over here and finish tightening this lower one. Okay, that's nice and tight. And now you can pull your gauge back, get on that one and tighten that all up. Just double check everything. And we are all tight. So now, pumps back together. Uh, now let's wire it. First thing you're gonna do is take these Dings right on off. Pow, 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 pow. Now, grab our 3 eighths here. We're gonna take this 
getting that off the solenoid. Set that to the side for now. And then we're gonna grab our half inch. Loosen up our ground post. And we can set that to the side for now too. Switch back to our Phillips head and grab our harness. Purple, yellow, and blue goes on this side. Purple starting on the bottom, yellow, blue. On this side, we got orange on the bottom, green, gray. Okay, now if you look closely here, we got our ground wire that needs to go onto the ground post. Take our nut, thread it on there a little bit so it don't pop off. We gotta look for our white wire. Our white wire slides right onto the top of the solenoid, right on that little post. You can bend it over. Take your lock washer, slide it on there, and then your nut. Slide that. With our Phillips, we're gonna tighten these up just so they're snug. You don't wanna over tighten these. Okay, that is like that. Grab our 3 8 here, pop that back on there, bam. And we're gonna tighten this up. Grab our other end of the wire, come to this side, loosen that up, the washer off. Put it on there to get the nut back. Tighten that up. Then the final step here, we got our custom adapters made so we can run two different controllers, one wireless, one non-wireless. And then that just plugs in right to the bottom here. Boom. Boom. Last one, pop, and that's it. We're done. It's wired, ready to go in. Um, we do have to put our power wires on for our, our motors though. Um, so actually we'll, we'll get right into that too. All right, loosen this post up, set that to the side. Grab our longer ground wire, slide it on there, just like that. Now we're gonna come back over here Feed this up through like that. Give it a little turn and a bend. Pop that out over there. Take that, put all that there. Then we're gonna grab our smaller wire we made here. Feed that right over the top. Compress all that down, just like that. Get our lock washer, our nut, Thread it on. Pull this up just like that. And then tighten that. This is gonna go to our ground on our battery. Now, we're gonna take our red wire here. All right, now we're on to our final one. And that's how you wire the pump. We'll get it in the toolbox now and get it all hooked up for its final stay. <laughs> 